Once you've opened Photopea, then go File, Open, and then you can find the document that you'd like to open within this program. Once you find it, click on OK. OK, you'll notice in my colour palette that I've got a blue colour. I'm going to the Paint Bucket tool and then I'm selecting an area on my page to fill with this blue colour. OK, so I'm just literally using my mouse and I'm clicking where I want the paint to go. So I'm filling all of my background in this same colour blue. Okay, once you've filled out your background, what you can do then is go to your colour palette in your toolbar. Okay, and then you can select on your next colour and click OK. And then you can zoom in using the magnifying tool in the toolbar. It's quite tricky to use this magnifying tool actually. Zoom in, then go back to your paint bucket and then you can click the next area where you'd like to apply the colour. Okay. And then take your time to make sure that your cursor, your arrow, is within the shape that you'd like to apply the colour. Okay, I'm going to speed this up for you guys. If you make a mistake and you apply the wrong colour, just go to edit and then go undo. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the colour picker, which is in the toolbar. There we go. And then I can select a colour then from my actual artwork. So I've selected this pink. I want it to be the same. And I'm going back and I'm choosing a different colour pink. And then I'm applying that somewhere else. Use the magnifying tool and then zoom in and out to make sure that you filled all of the spaces with colour. Next step, go to File, Export As and then select JPG, which is the JPEG. OK, once you click on that, then you go to the next menu and just save. You'll see this save along the bottom of your screen and then this will save within your downloads folder. OK, another thing you can do here is you can go to image adjustments, hue saturation, and then you can drag the arrows, which will then adjust the colour of your artwork. So you can play around with different colour samples. So test the colours, move the arrows, click OK, and then File, Export as, JPEG, and then Save.